Hi there, I hope that you are well. Welcome to what is episode two of Cricket Draft Insight. And I just wanted to talk about something that I touched upon in my previous video, which is international players, and that includes England players. I touched upon Shah Massoud. Um, last season, had a great start to the season, scored lots of runs, but then did go, I think, away with Pakistan for a tour of Sri Lanka, where I don't think he even played. You've got to be really on the ball with these overseas players, how much they cost, the value of getting them in and out of your team, transferring them in and out. And as I say, be really on the ball, how long these players are around for. You know, some players come and go for even two, just one, one county championship game. Classic example right now is Steve Smith. He's going to be signed, going to play three games for Sussex. Now, if you think Steve Smith, obviously, is a fantastic batsman, he's going to rock up for three matches, score a load of runs, uh, get you some points, transfer him out, spend that money wisely on other players. Absolutely fair enough. But you've, you've just got to be aware, you've got to, you know, with the cost of a player like that, that you have enough depth for your team. If, if somebody else is injured, doesn't play, that you've got your reserves in place. And that when Steve Smith leaves after only three games, you, you're on the ball and you, you're replacing him. Todd Murphy is another. The new, new Australian off-spinner. I think he's signed for maybe about seven games. Look, I'm not a huge fan of players signing for one or two games. Um, but I appreciate the county championship the English season is a long season, a long campaign. At least somebody like Murphy is around for, um, I think, about seven weeks. Obviously, these players have an eye an eye on the ashes. Mm. There's another Australian player, actually, coming to the county championship. Uh, but I'm going to refrain from touching upon him. Because whilst I'm saying you, you've you got to be really aware when these players are coming and going, there's one or two players who you know, are well worth your consideration. But I'm going to save one or two of those for some uh, player profile videos I'd like to do in the future. It is not just overseas players, Australian, Pakistan, etc. English players themselves. Oh, Joe Root, uh, Ben Stokes, James Anderson, Stuart Broad. Fantastic players. I'll have them in my team. Hold on. Uh, how often are they going to play? A game or two. Cost a lot of money. So you can, you know, again, transfer them in. Uh, if you think they're worth it, a lot of money. Guaranteed, guaranteed superstars. Centuries, five wicket hauls. But, but again... Uh, as I touched upon in my last video, there's no guarantee that, that these players will do well. Could get a dodgy decision, they're out first ball, the side only bats once, and that's it. You transferred them in for that. Which is why you have to find those players, those quality players, who aren't in the England team. Okay, The county players that thrive, but, but aren't getting the international recognition. Players such as Ed Barnard... Ryan Higgins, all-rounders, batting in the middle order, scoring runs, taking wickets, completely ignored by England. You know, those sort of players have been the bedrock, the bedrock of my team. So just be aware, if you've got your eye on England players, um, for the county championship game, they don't play many games, they get rested a lot, they maybe come in for one or two games. So it's costing you money, it's costing you transfers, it could potentially cost you depth to your squad if there's an unexpected absence. And also with these overseas players, often here for just short stints. And, you know, that's a tip in general. You've always got to be looking ahead. Looking ahead to next week's multiple games in a game week will become re extremely relevant when we get to the T20 Blast. It's just another short tip for you. Overseas players, England players, if you really think they're going to rock up superstars and perform for you, and it's worth it, fine. But they come and go, and they're not going to be, they're not going to be available all the time. Okay, so just another little insight for you there. Thank you very much for watching. How's that?